Activity 11 is another small-sided game, quite a complex game. It's called Section Football. Uh, really good for developing every aspect of the game again. Passing, running with the ball, receiving, one-on-one -on -one encounters, defending, anything you like. Got the lot. So um, we'll, have a, we'll have a look from here. If you look behind, the total area is... 30 metres line of red markers here by a total of 30 metres. So it's a 30 by 30 square, but we actually start and we play in sections. So we'll get started then. Go, go. Balls here, balls here. You line up along this line here. Blues, bring your balls, please, and leave your balls. Here and come and line up on this yellow line here. Spread right the way along, right the way along the red line. Excellent work, excellent work. Move balls there, line up along this line. Simple game, seven versus seven. Here is your playing area, okay? If the ball goes out of the side, we start from the back again. Whichever team didn't bring it out. How do we score? Blues, you score by bringing the ball across the opposition's line and stopping it just beyond. Oranges, you score by stopping it beyond their line. Okay. You may actually pass the ball beyond the line to someone who gets a touch and that would be a goal. Okay. If Blues have the ball behind their own line, they are free players. You cannot come and attack them or defend. If Oranges have the ball behind their line, they are free players. You cannot attack and defend. Let's get going. Off we go. Game started. Game started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One nil, blue ball. One nil, blue ball. Let's get going. Let's get going. Oh, oh. Defending. Blue ball, but from behind. Blue ball from behind. Let's go. Let's go. Just pass it in. Let's go. Well done. Uh, too far, bad luck. Excellent dribbling. Orange ball from the back. And just stop there for one moment. Now, well done, Benji. No one says you have to all be in a straight line. So how many people does he need to help him close by or behind? Well, touch lines on that side, so we might just say one. So one behind, one may be a bit further across. How about some in the middle, some forward, some wide, so that everyone is spread everywhere. Off we go. The length of the area is probably in this case a bit too small. A good example for seven players, the 30 metres might not be long enough. So we might need to extend it to 40 metres. Or, as is more likely, you will only have six versus six. I'm going to continue with seven now, so that everyone stays involved. But, game looks a mess. Let's see how it develops. Three nil, and stop there. Okay, three goals wins a section. So, oranges, you are one nil up. You are now defending this line. Blues, pick that marker up and take it to the end. Pick that marker up and take it to the end. Take the balls back behind. You're now defending the blue line. Now, that one stays where it is because that's on the end. Put that one down. 
Maybe put that one on top of it. One section to nil. Blues, we are now playing across these distances. Off we go. Game starting. Tough ball, is it? Tough ball, try and keep possession. Oranges, off we go. Off we go. That's yeah, still behind the line, not allowed to touch it. Bad luck, Michael. Good, and stop there. Stop there. Let's just come back this way a little bit. Let's try and explain. Give him the ball again, please. Give him the ball. Good job. Okay, what's your name? What could you see pre over there that excited you so much? What can you see? One orange, two oranges. One, two, three, four, five blues between you and those two oranges. Can you see an orange who you might be able to pass it to? Go. 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 Play on. And again, you've made it tough for yourself. Just keep the ball. Just keep the ball. Don't go. Keep tackling him. He's not over the line yet. Yeah, Mac. Mac. Play on. Mac. Good and stop there. Well done. So we need to start using all of the area both ways. That way and that way. So spread yourselves out so you create a little bit more room for yourself. Next goal wins this section. Off we go. Bad luck, too far. Look, got more balls here. Bring two or three. No, you got a ball. And away you go. And away you go. One nil oranges. Well done. Okay, oranges. Two sections to nil. Pick up that blue marker, put it on that one. Pick up that blue marker, put it on that one. Go back, you're near defending. Oh, <laughs> so we've now got three sections this way, three sections that way. Off we go! Linden, back. Keep it in, run, run, run! Cross the inning. Let's go, right? So. So we've actually developed, we go from one section to two sections to three sections, okay? And it's up to you to determine how many goals win a section. If you've got 20 minutes, you might say four goals wins a section. If you've got 15 minutes, it might be three goals wins a section. I've progressed very quickly here. Good defending. Again, it looks a little bit less of a mess because there's more room. They're still not using all of the room. Players will find as they start to develop and they become more used to this practice, they'll become better at using all of the space in that team. Okay, what happens now is that when this section is one, and I'm going to call it one, we actually start reducing the area again. Okay, so here we go. Good, and stop there. By default, Blues have won that section, so it's two sections to one. Now, oranges. Bring the yellow marker out to here. Bring the yellow marker in from the edge. I oh, know it's over there. Go and get that one, oranges. Quickly. So you're now defending the yellow line, and we're back down to only two sections again. Blues start with the ball, off we go. Yeah. 
Kick the ball moving. Not a bad effort, bad luck. Orangey says the closest ball, let's get it going. Good job. Out of play, Blues from behind. Blues from behind. Bad luck, too far. Orange ball, let's go. Good, and stop there. Look how much room we're not using on that side. Just spread out a little bit. Blues, you haven't got the ball, so you don't need to spread if you don't want to. Excellent work, play on. You have to pass it, or could you have won with it? Yeah, give you the oh, goal, 1-0. What do you mean I've been stopping? Oh, sorry, wrong. Yeah, give you the goal, 1-0. Play on, play on. Excellent work. Get the ball moving. Oh. Ah, what the heck? Just stop for a second. What chance, stop, stop, stop. What chances have you got of getting that ball over there to the player who can then control it and then score a goal? Not likely. Not likely. Do you think Lionel Messi could have done that? Maybe. Maybe. That's how tough it is. So give yourselves easy options. Just keep the ball moving. Orange ball from behind. Let's go. section as well. Well done Blues. Bring the blue marker in from here. Bring the blue marker in from here. Quick guys. section to see who wins the game. Off we go. Keep possession. Most important thing you can do in the game is to keep the ball. Oh, 1-0 Orangies. Well played. Too far. Look both ways. Not bad work, Matt. Too far. Orange ball. Let's go. What's out this way? Yeah, give you the goal. One all. Orange. Look this side. Look this side. Look this side. Look this side. Look. Look. Well done. Now carry on playing. Keep the ball moving. Keep moving. Come back if you have to. Oh. 2-1 Blues, end of game. Guys, listening. So that was a section game. So we start off playing in an area 30 by 10, make it 30 by 20, make it 30 by 30, and then reduce it going the other way. So as we said, play for different sections. Um, as a coach, try and make sure that the last one you're always playing for a win. Uh, so draw from there. But again, really good game. And as players get used to playing it, they will use the width as well as the depth of the pitch and they will start to understand that the most important thing to do is to maintain possession and keep the ball moving quickly rather than trying to thread needles.